Step four, use a 3D pie chart to chart the annual total for each item. So we're looking at this column here for annual totals. But we're also looking at the name of those annual totals. Move the chart to a new sheet and then name, name it annual expense charts. Let's work on this pie chart stuff for first. I'm going to highlight my names, which is salary and benefits, all the way down to miscellaneous, cell A5 to A9. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to come over here to cell, oops, I'm sorry, control. How about that for a mistake right in the beginning? So I'm going to hold the control button and then click cell F5 to F9. I've been able to highlight two different components of my chart by highlighting the first area, then hitting the control button, then highlighting the second area of F5 to F9. Now I'm going to go into insert. I'm going to come over here to charts. You could go to recommended charts, but we're looking for a specific 3D pie chart. Um, I could click here on the pie. If you don't have that, you can also click right here on the little pop out menu for charts and go to pie charts and click on all charts and then go to pie and we're looking for 3D so that's the 3D pie chart. Once we click that and you can see how it's it has our labels and our pie pieces we click OK and it mounts it here on the table we're working on but we actually want to move that so I'm going to right click our chart I'm going to select move and it says move the chart to a new sheet. So I want to go to new sheet and right here in chart one, I just title it annual expense chart. And then I click OK and that moves it, you can see, to a new tab. And um, that's the end of step four. Step five, for the chart title, Type summary of annual expenses and format that using word art. And it gives us a specific word art blue accent one and shadow. You'll see if you click on the, the pie chart itself, the chart tools opens up and we have a design tab and we have a format tab. We want word art. So I'm going to click inside my chart title highlight that and then I'm going to pick word art and it's asking me to do blue accent one. Hmm. I think I have too many windows with my video open. It's not telling me which one it is with a shadow that kind of has a shadow and change the font size to 28. So we would want to come over here to the home tab to do that. And now I'm just going to type summary of annual expenses. Format the chart title using word art, blue, accent one, shadow, and change the chart title font size to 28. That's the end of step five. Step six, remove the legend from the chart and then add data labels. So here is our legend down here at the bottom. We can click anything on this chart. It's all clickable and we can hit delete and then it wants us to add data labels so we can click the plus over here, come to chart elements and go down to data labels and at data labels, we want formatted so that only the category name and percentage display position in the middle. So we want it in the center, which is, we click data labels and then we slide over to center, change the data label font to 12. So I'm going to go ahead and click my font. So see how I clicked and it put buttons around each frame buttons around each one. And I'll come over here and move that to 12. 
and apply bold, which is our B under our font panel and italics. And it's interesting. It is telling us to do a percentage display. And yet I specifically remember in step five, step four, it said annual totals, not the percentage totals. So we may end up having to go through the grader and look that over. It may be added, asking not for annual totals, but for annual percent totals. Um, I believe that will get us through step six. And that's the end.